I'm Michael, and today I'll be sharing some of my professional expertise as a landscape designer with Peter so he can start a new backyard project. We designed some landscaping with you and your wife Jalissa in another video which you can check out on Lowe's channel. Well, with any good project, we need to start with a plan. There's a variety of paver stone sizes, shapes, and patterns to choose from. Jack on Jack or running bond plans with six by nine inch pavers are simple to install. More advanced patterns like herringbone or pinwheel require more cutting. Today we're starting with a simple pattern of a 10 by 12 inch hexagonal paver stone. Okay, cool. So the first step was determining the size of your outdoor patio. We wanted to make sure you could fit all your outdoor furniture as well as leave enough room for walking. And because you don't have any large items like a hot tub, we could stick with a standard size paving stone. Yep, for my needs, a 12 by 12 patio should be perfect. Okay, so let's look at what's required for this patio installation. The traditional process calls for a six inch layer of gravel paver base, then a one inch layer of sand, followed by pavers, and finally finished with a polymeric sand in the joints. But as an alternative to the gravel base, we're using interlocking paver base panels. They're lightweight, require less digging, and the pavers sit right on top. We started by marking the layout using string and wood stakes. You'll know the layout is square when the diagonals are equal. And be sure that the strings are level too. Another thing to keep in mind, the patio needs to have a slight grade so water runs off it. A four foot level is helpful to check the slope as you're working. The total depth of your project depends on the paver height along with the base panels. You're gonna want the pavers to sit at or a little above ground level. Dig a little beyond the strings going about three inches deep. Now, thoroughly hand tamp the area. Next, we're adding a layer of landscape fabric that extends slightly beyond the paver area to minimize weeds. After pouring leveling sand over the top, use PVC pipes and a two x four to screed the sand to get a nice smooth surface. Start along an edge and make sure the side flanges of the panels overlap. For optimal stability, lay them in a brick-like, staggered pattern. Then use a razor knife to trim any curves or along edges. Now it's time for the actual pavers. We're using 10 by 12 inch blocks with pre-cut pieces for part of the border. You can position them directly on the panels. Start along the edge and use a string set low to the ground to guide the block straight. Then continue setting the pavers as we work towards the middle of the patio, always leaving a gap between the blocks. So to finish off our border, we need to cut some stones to fit. Simply measure, mark, and cut them with a circular saw with a concrete blade. Or as an alternative, you can use a wet saw. Once the blocks are properly aligned, let's install some edge restraints to keep everything from moving. Lay the edging directly on the panels, then hammer eight to 10 inch landscape spikes through the paver base panels to secure the edges. Now let's add sand to fill between the pavers. We're using polymeric jointing sand, which has additives that provide a better bond. Go ahead and sweep it into the joints, and then use a hand tamper to settle the sand. Keep adding sand and repeating as needed. To prevent hazing, just remove all the excess with a leaf blower. Next, lightly spray with a hose to activate the polymer in the sand. Now, cut the excess weed barrier and backfill around the patio with the soil we dug out earlier. We'll finish this paver patio project by adding furniture, plants, and garden decor from Lowe's. This looks so much better than I could have ever imagined. It really does, it looks great. You did an awesome job, Peter. Thank you. Visit your local Lowe's or Lowe's.com for everything needed to make your paver patio a reality. For detailed step-by-step -step instructions on this project, check the link in the description. And for more great ideas, check out our other spring backyard videos. 